Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Reactor Essentials. Now let's talk about mono. So mono represents a string of one or void. It means that either you send one object or you don't send anything. So let's uh, rename this one because we are going to see how the subscriber from mono works. So subscriber. Now this subscriber is an overloaded method and we have four different options and we are going to see all of them here. So let's start with something really simple. Let's create a string here and we call this one. We could go with anime, but no, I'm lazy. I'll just use my name. Now that we have this name, let's say that we would like to create a string of one element that will represent our publisher. And by doing that, we just have to create mono dot just. And as you can see here, reactor core publisher. And we tell, hey, I would like to create this mono with just my name. And we can introduce a local variable and we can call this one mono. Okay, so as you can see here, it's giving us some warnings. Forget about it. Let's execute this method. So as you can see, nothing happened. We only have this uh, information here. Now we could print what we have inside this model. And as you can see here, we just have mono just. So this is what we have. Now, this mono is a publisher. If you want to get more information about what we have inside this publisher, you need to subscribe. So how do we subscribe? Pretty simple. We just call the publisher and then we tell, hey, I would like to subscribe. Now, let's see what happens. And as you can see, for us, nothing happened. Why? Because we are not doing anything. We are subscribing, but we are ignoring. So now it comes the operators. So one of the operators that we have uh, here and the, the just that we can use is the log. And if you go into the documentation of this log, or I hope they do have some documentation. Let's download the sources. So as you can see here, it will observe all the reactive string signals and trace them using whatever we have for logger. Now, just by adding this, you will see what happened inside this publisher. So let's execute again. So as you can see, we had the unsubscribe and then we execute a request, the subscribe. Why is unbounded? Because we are not sending any back pressure. It means that whatever you have sent to me that I can handle. And then the on next was executed. And since we only have one, one of these conditions was met. In this case, all the objects were sent. We have here the on complete being called. So just doing this very simple example, we can now start doing some tests so using tests we have uh we have to test what will happen when someone subscribes and actually the test itself will subscribe so you will see this uh, log twice when we do the test so for that we can use this step verifier and you can go inside this class to see what it does so basically it will provide a declarative way of creating a verifiable script for an async publisher sequence. So basically we are going to use this class to test our publishers. And then we have to create here, sending this publisher. So since we are logging it, we use everything that we set here as operator. We could have different ones. Now let's uh, tell what we are expecting. I don't know if you can hear the bike. Dutch people, they love bikes. Um, expect next. So basically, I'm telling here, hey, when you publish, you should get 
you should expect next the name so doing this and executing you probably are expecting something but nothing happened why because we didn't subscribe I don't know if this error and finish step verifier so we need to finish this and we just tell hey verify that this is complete basically this is subscribing to this mono and when we execute we will see two logs now so as you can see we have here the first log that's from this line 32 and then this is where the test starts so basically it executes the same stuff we get the same result but uh, the tests now are looking like more tests so we can remove this one and we also can remove uh, this one and here we can just add something to tell hey from now on this is the test there we go so for this video that's it see you in the next one bye